Obviously, a lot has changed since the 18th century. We know fatness is not specific to Black people, and we've used that as an excuse to shape a societal beauty standard that is anti-fat. That includes being thin. That includes gaining muscle so you can look toned and have less fat on your body. And what happens if you don't meet the standard of beauty? You will face systemic oppression. You will always determine the health of your body. So yes, if you work out directly for appearance-based reasons, you are fat-phobic. All right, what's going on people, fat people, skinny people? Look, TikTok's a place I've probably covered around 100 times just because of the crazy shit I see on there. It's practically unlimited content if you're wanting to start a channel here on YouTube, mostly because of the strange people who use the app every single day. But today we're taking a look at the Fat Pride group on TikTok. You know, there's nothing wrong with being confident in yourself, but some of these posts are just straight up enabling food addiction. So I figured that we take a look at these together. Go follow my Instagram though, I'd appreciate the love and plus i'm pretty active on there so go check it out and yeah before i actually start all these videos i want y'all to comment down below what your opinion about this is like the whole fat pride movement and listen i'm not no doctor i don't really know much about the human body i'm kind of guilty of that i wish i did know more but i think i know enough about it to know that like isn't this promoting like a relatively unhealthy lifestyle i don't know i could be wrong but honestly i think i'm right when it comes to that that's just me though let me know what y'all think in the comments we're about to uh check this shit out oh there's nothing more powerful in this world than a fat bitch who is unapologetically confident. Hi, I'm that fat bitch. All right, what's up? Hi, hello, fat bitch. Um, what's good? You know, I'm really not trying to get in the way of your like little confident speech here, but I can name a lot of things more powerful than you. <laughs> I'm not gonna go too hard on that one because this person didn't sound like they were too arrogant. They were just kind of posting on social media. I also don't really get her reasoning for posting it either because if you post this shit on TikTok, the comments are just gonna be flooded with like whale. I mean, let's keep it real though. There's menaces in the TikTok comment section. This is what I eat in a day as a fat person that isn't trying to lose weight. So first I started off with some iced coffee and it was delicious. Then I had some eggs, they were really good too. And I had a piece of toast with some butter and jam on it. I thought the jam would cover up the burntness, but it did not. It was nasty. I had a banana. It's a banana. It's average. Then I had a McDouble and small fry for lunch. It was pretty good. It's McDonald's, you know. Then for a drink, I had Starbucks, and it was so good. All right, listen, I'm about to go doctor mode here for a second. You know, I got to stop eating at McDonald's. Like, truly, I, I hate when I say that because I sound like a health freak, but I kind of am a health freak now. Now, before y'all come up with your pitchforks and your knives, listen, I still love making fun of those diehard vegans because, you know, they try to push their ideas on people, but I'd be lying if I was telling y'all that I haven't been trying to get more healthy recently, like, truly. And now it's getting to the point where like if I eat something from McDonald's, it just does not go down my stomach well. Like I shit that out while I'm in the holy grail position. My body just rejects it. I, it can't have it anymore. It also can't have popcorn anymore. I have to stop eating popcorn. My body just does not mess with it. And I think it's just because of the fact that like I've also become more conscious of like what these actual foods are doing to my body. So maybe like it's a combination of my digestive system and my mind. I, I don't know. I don't, I really don't know. But all I know is that eventually that McDonald's, it's not going to go down well once you realize what's in it but you know she can eat whatever she wants she's a proud fat person on tiktok that does not want to get skinny she says so who am i to judge her <laughs> uh, at work they had some breadsticks so i had to snag one although it was dry as hell so i had to drink some water <laughs> there's me running my mouth um for dinner i had some taco bell i had a bean burrito then i had a baja blast freeze um i almost choked right there I saw my life flash before my eyes. And also, if anybody says anything about my temple, you're being blocked. Okay, bye. Genuinely, who watches this content? Who watches what a person eats throughout their day? Like, I'm sorry, but can we talk about that? Like, is there just this big hub of fat people on the internet that gather to watch this type of content? And then they just compare with each other what they're eating throughout the day? Like, who's watching this? Okay, let me keep it real, though. If I was a fat person and I saw this type of content, it would probably enable me to just keep on with my lifestyle because I know that there's another person on TikTok that's in the same boat as me. So if you really think about it, it's really just this community of fat 
people who like enable each other to stay fat. Listen, if I got some chubby viewers watching right now, like best believe I'm not trying to poke fun at you or anything. Cause listen, I'm in the process of losing some weight right now and I'm not fat, but I'm not where I wanna be. And that's always okay. In life, you gotta work for things you want. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not as black and white as this fat community likes to make it seem. They're over here like, accept yourself. It's okay to do this. Like, yeah, oh, obviously you need to accept yourself, but it's not always a bad thing if you wanna look like something else, right? And obviously I mean that to some degree. I'm not trying to say, oh, if you don't like your nose, you should get a nose job. Oh, if you don't like this, then get surgery for it because that's obviously a lot of money. And also being fat is something that you can just control, right? If, if you work out and you take care of your body, then that you're probably not gonna be that fat. So that's why I say that it's all right to have that little push on yourself to want to work out and do all this shit. And so I believe in exposure therapy. So I'm going to film my body sitting down. So if you're out there, you're a fat person um, and you're like, oh, I hate my reflection. I hate seeing myself sitting down. I'm doing it. You can do it. There's no shame. Our bodies are normal. Um, so yeah, let me film that right now. Here I am. This is my body sitting down. And I know that it makes me uncomfortable seeing like my poop on my stomach all together, but it's okay, it's normal, it's a body. I mean, yeah, it's, it's a normal body, but you know what else it is? unhealthy. Like, listen, nobody on the other side is trying to say that your body is not normal. You know what I'm saying? People are just saying it's unhealthy to go and enable everybody on TikTok to keep eating and keep doing this and that and be okay with yourself. Like, listen, again, I'm not trying to say you can't be all right with yourself, but if there's a time where you really aren't all right with yourself, you don't have to lie to yourself either. She even mentioned before, I didn't like how I looked and it took me time to get comfortable with it. Why not use that time to just work out and make yourself even more comfortable? I mean, obviously working out isn't comfortable. It's uncomfortable. That's the whole point of why you're doing it. In life, you got to do uncomfortable things for the greater good. That's like, bro, we're really evolving backwards if you really think about it. But it's okay. It's normal. It's a body. And I just want to get to the point where it's just a neutral feeling for me. Um, so exposure therapy. <laughs> You know what's actually funny? Exposure therapy is a psychological treatment that was developed to help people confront their fears. When people are fearful of something, they tend to avoid the feared objects, activities, or situations. So basically what it's saying is you have to approach it head on. And how do you approach being fat? Working out. And listen, nobody's forcing you to work out. You don't have to do it if you really don't want to, but I wouldn't live in this fantasy land if I were you. That's just how I see it. Bitch, what's the worst thing that's gonna happen if you start believing that you're the hottest bitch alive? Someone tells you that you're not? Okay, are you gonna live your life according to their insecurities or are you gonna continue being the hottest bitch alive? I don't think she lip synced a single word correctly in that. Why the fuck are people so fucking stupid? Like, I take better care of myself now than I did when I was smaller. This is so wrong on so many levels. Just because someone is thin does not mean they take care of themselves. And vice versa, like, get the fuck- Okay, listen, no, no, that's not what she's saying. She's saying not all the time, but usually size is a result of how you take care of yourself. They're not being fat phobic. They just want the best for you and your shape. See, that's actually a really good comment and it was phrased correctly and everything, but this person was just still stupid enough to interpret it like that. I mean, if you want my opinion on it, I think uh, your shape, your body size is a great way to, you know, describe how well you take care of yourself. I think that's that's been a given for a while now. I feel like that's what people reference that off of. And, and obviously the TikTok lady isn't fully wrong. You know, there is skinny people who don't take care of themselves and there are fat people who do, but that's not the majority. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I don't think I need to argue this point much. I feel like y'all kind of get me. And yeah, that's all I really had for today's video. So if you did enjoy it, please make sure to leave a like. And also let me know what y'all think about this. Okay. I, I'm pretty interested in it. Not going to lie. It caught my attention once I saw it on Instagram or TikTok, but yeah, that's all I really got for you guys today. Hope y'all have a good one and I'll catch y'all. See ya. Ah, 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 ah,